Here we are in the workshop using no light because outside it is night time and raining and this has been raining and not sunning all day and so our battery is nearly empty. The joke of it is that there is 100 kilowatt hours half charged there so there's 50 kilowatt hours there and there is one, two, four, six, seven half charged five kilowatt hour slabs there. So there's about 15 kilowatt hours there, but our house battery is nearly flat. And then over here, of course, there's an umbrella and rain. Probably not much in the leaf, but this is a half charge 100 kilowatt hour car. And here comes the cunning plan, ladies and gentlemen. If we can persuade this stupid thing to open its mouth and show us what it's got. What it's got is a little addition I made ages ago to give me direct 12 volts fused, of course, we're not silly here, into an Anderson, because Andersons are beautiful, into a horrible inverter that I've had for ages, which is on and out. Oh, and sitting on a nice Ubco battery box, heat sink for if this decides to get warm. Not that it's warm here tonight. So, follow the lead. Past junk and detritus. Over books. Past a window. Under a box. Past some fat back tires through here. Up to the beautiful grid product, the Satiator which is currently set to do 56 volts. Are you going to focus? Or are you not? You are not. Yes, you are. 56 volts and 5 amps, which is all it can manage. But that's better than a, a lot better than nothing. And so from there, we go down to here and into another lovely little Anderson and into this switch, which is connected through the conduit, oh, past another 10 kilowatt hour battery, which we can't use. Through the conduit, through the conduit, past another 15 kilowatt hour battery, which we can't use because SNA are bastards. Down, 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 through there, through there, through there, whoop, up into the DC bus. So, the plan is, from the DC bus, we then go into the Leaf house battery here. So the plan is, man, that rain is coming down. To turn this switch on, and the Tesla should start through this charging our house battery. Let's see. On, no explosions. Here we go, and this thing is now beginning to charge. There we go, 55 amps. So five amps times 50 volts is 250 watts, which is close to nothing, but it's also close or probably even better than what we are currently using, which means we stand a chance of being able to have things running tomorrow morning when we wake up. Still got a green light on there, which means that it, the battery is discharging. However, hopefully it's discharging more slowly than it was before. All right, I hope you enjoyed this slightly spooky look in the workshop. And um, I hope I have electricity tomorrow morning. Wouldn't want to have to burn gas to make my porridge. See you guys later. Where? How do I stop it?